with celiac, you don't have an anaphylactic reaction, and it's not always immediate. She might not have symptoms for 24 hours. Kate Shores of Benton was diagnosed with celiac disease when she was just four years old. One cracker crumb from, a, from one bite, anything, can take up to six months to get out of her system. Nicole Shores has spent years researching the disease in order to be able to provide her daughter with a gluten-free lifestyle. Now at 11 years old, Kate is already well aware of the foods she needs to avoid. The only thing that I really complain about is being different. Like when I go to parties, I can't eat like the cake they have or something, so I have to bring my own stuff. Gastroenterologist Pearl Princess Yui says celiac disease is genetic. Gluten, it's basically a type of protein. And for patients with celiac disease, they are unable to process this kind of protein and it causes damage to their small intestine lining. Yui says the disease is treated with a strict gluten-free diet. And I always tell all my patients with celiac disease, make sure you have separate cooking and eating utensils from your other household members who eat gluten-containing food because there's a lot of cross-contamination. Chris Courier of Hamden was diagnosed with celiac disease as an adult. It's almost like a severe allergy in that you know, in the way that you think about it, because you wouldn't try to feed peanuts to somebody who has a peanut allergy. So just because you can't see clear evidence of the, the damage it's causing, I'm aware it can still be causing damage to my body. Shores says raising awareness about celiac is vital in dispelling the myths that surround the disease. Let go of the stigma. It is not a diet choice. It is not a fad. You know, this is life threatening for people with celiac. In Benton, I'm Jody Hersey for ABC 7 and Fox 22 News.